life in Dearborn was idyllic. It was warm, it was secure, it was safe. I had virtually nothing to be afraid of. Though sometimes at school we'd have nuclear war drills and things like that, but in the back of my mind was the idea that I was an American and we were the good guys and God would take care of us. So I, none of that stuff ever bothered me. I had a love of the outdoors, probably from the first grade. Up, up to the first grade, I don't think I'd ever been out of sight of a house or a utility pole or a street light. And in the first grade, we had a nun who took us for a walk in the woods. And I was just thrilled to be in an environment where everything was natural. I couldn't see anything man-made. When we moved to Dearborn in 55, a lot of the Divine Child campus was still natural. And there were vernal ponds that would be loaded with tadpoles and fairy shrimp and things in the spring. And then west of Gully Road, everything was virtually undeveloped, probably been farmland earlier and then just been sitting vacant for several years, so trees and fields were growing up. Sometimes alone, sometimes with friends, we'd hike out, build a fire somewhere, cook a can of beans, play with my compass. There, there were just, there were so many things to do that uh, you never really worried about being bored. Another one of my avenues to the out of doors was scouting. Independence was very important to me. I got a job selling the free press at the corner of Telegraph and Ford Road to motorists. I'd be there at 5.30 in the morning, all through the winter. Later on in the uh, ninth grade, I got a Detroit newspaper route, and I had that for a couple years. And then I got a job at Kroger's as a bagger and worked there through my senior year in high school. There were a lot of opportunities. The city had Camp Dearborn. They had recreation programs during the summer in the parks. I didn't take advantage of that a lot, but, but sometimes I did. And also, you know, as a kid, I hitchhiked a lot. When I entered Sacred Heart in the ninth grade, it was about uh, three miles from home. There wasn't school buses. And sometimes my parents would drive me, but often I'd just walk down to Cherry Hill, hitchhike down Cherry Hill to military, and then walk or hitchhike to school and do the same thing coming home. Hitchhiking uh, back in those days for a kid was a very uh, reasonable transportation alternative. I met all kinds of interesting people and never ever felt like I was in danger.